Hey guys, welcome back to this Winter Wonderland series. This is day seven. I hope you guys all had a great break yesterday with your families and stuffed yourselves full. Today we're gonna continue with this double ombre and a snowflake peekaboo. I don't know if there's a technical term for it, but we're just winging it. So we're gonna prep and spray paint our base of the tumbler and we're going to ombre a kind of candy pink and white and we're going to apply this first layer using the epoxy method. The white that I'm using is Parabatai from Peachy Olive Glitters. And then we're gonna go in with a pink mix of Love You By and Barbie from Peachy as well. And I'm going to lay it down. I've told you guys many times how to ombre. So we're gonna go heavy handed at the top. And once we get full coverage, we're gonna angle that at about 45 degrees and lightly tap the glitter so it can cascade down the cup. And the lighter you want your fading to be, the further up that I pull my cup towards my head to ensure that it's not going to give a really harsh line. We want that to be a seamless blend. Once I've got that pink laid down, I'm gonna go back in with white just to fine tune that ombre. And then once we've got everything how we want it, I'm gonna go in with either paper or gloved hand or some sort of something to pat your glitter down. This is both uh, chunky glitter, I, I can't talk, this is chunky glitter on both of these colors. So we want to ensure that the glitter is going to be patted down, especially because we're gonna go back in with a second coat of the same chunky glitter in the next layer. Once that epoxy was fully cured, I spray sealed that three times with Krylon Triple Thick Spray just to make sure that the glitter didn't move into the sections I didn't want it in. Once the spray sealer was dry, I went in with about 20 milliliters of the Flynn Sisters Fast Setting Epoxy. I opted to use that because it's a much thicker formula than the regular setting. And I only wanted to do one coat between this glitter layer and the next one just because I don't want the end result of the tumbler to be super, super thick. So I went in with just one thick coat of epoxy and then I just buffed it down pretty well. I didn't have too many pokey pieces sticking up because I did a good job of patting it down right in the beginning. So as long as you're setting yourself up for a success, you shouldn't have a super thick tumbler at the end. This step is totally optional. You don't have to do it if you don't want to, but I just took my painter's tape and I ripped a rough edge on it and I applied that to the very edge on the top and bottom of the tumbler, just so once we have that second layer of glitter and we pulled the tape, the pink would be exposed in the white section and the white would be exposed in the pink section on that top layer. Um, but if you don't wanna do this, you don't have to. It is completely up to you. So we're gonna get that laid down along the top and bottom. And then once we've got that painter's tape all secured, making sure that it is completely flush to the cup so it doesn't have any room for the spray paint in the second coat to drip down into that um, portion that's covered up with paint. We're next gonna go in with the stencils. These snowflakes are from VMD Designs. Got these on her Etsy shop. Uh, if you're in her mentorship group, you get these for free. So I would go ahead and download those and size them to anywhere between, I would say 1.5 and two inches. I just varied the sizes. I did make sure that the size of the snowflake was measured, including the offset. So the stencil would be less than the 1.5 to two inches with the offset, it should be up to two inches, just depending on the size cup that you're using. I didn't want to overwhelm the design with huge, huge snowflakes, so I was pretty conscious of the size of those. And then once we've got all those stencils laid down and making sure, again, that they're laid flat so no spray paint can seep underneath them, I'm gonna go in with the same spray paint I used in the beginning. We're just gonna go opposite, so white spray paint over the pink glitter, pink spray paint over the white glitter, keeping in mind where your fade in the glitter is going to be because we want to ensure that they're fading at the exact same time. If it's not fading at the same time, you're gonna end up with your second coat of glitter 
being white on white and pink on pink. So just be cautious of that when you're laying that paint down. And once the paint is dry, we're gonna go in with our second coat of glitter. This hot glue was totally overkill. I was thinking that you wouldn't be able to see Sharpie through the glitter, but I think because the colors were so light and because we did tack it method on this top layer um, that you could see it really well. So this kind of hindered me actually because it was really hard to get these stencils off because I used so much glue. So if you're using light colors, I would just opt for going in with some black Sharpie outlining the stencils so you know where to pull those once you get that second coat of glitter applied uh, but totally not necessary for this hot glue i would say maybe if you're using like black or darker shades of, of glitter um, that i would go for the hot glue so you could feel it because obviously you're not going to be seeing that sharpie underneath dark glitter um, but not necessary in this situation. So once that marker was dry, I went back in with the tacket method again, and as always, making sure that there are no lumps, bumps, or streaks in the second coat of the tacket or in tacket at all. Once you've got it applied the way you want it to, making sure to get between all of the layers of the snowflakes, little creases and such, I'm gonna go in with my heat gun and just heat that up until it is completely dry, making sure not to get your heat gun too close to the spray paint so it doesn't bubble that up. Once the glue is completely clear, we can go in with the second application of glitter, this time with the pink at the bottom, the white at the top, making sure to have a good fade right at the center where the first layer of glitter is faded. Once you are applying your glitter, again, at about a 45 degree angle to cascade that up the cup and down the cup. Once you've got the desired blend, we're gonna go in and rub the glitter down flat to make sure that we're not gonna have a super bulky second coat. You, the first layer of this second coat doesn't have to be too fine-tuned, I would say, uh, because we are gonna go in again just to make sure we get full coverage because it's Tacket Method, we don't get full coverage that first round, so we're gonna do this twice. But the first layer is just gonna be kind of a base. We don't want it to be a super harsh line, I would say, um, but not your best ombre by any means. So we're going to go and rub that down, making sure to get any little creases again in the snowflakes and repeat the same process. The second time we're going to really focus on fine tuning that ombre to get that full coverage in the second layer. And this will be the final result in the end. So we want it to look good. After it's all rubbed down, I'm gonna use my chip brush to get out any little stray glitters that are stuck in the creases of those snowflakes. It's really hard to get a gloved finger in there, so I'm just gonna make sure that I use a brush, and I'm gonna use my Crystal Act glitter glue to adhere everything. I'm going in to adhere the glitter, the white portion first, not the pink portion, just to make sure that we're not getting any pink glitters up into the white section. It's much less noticeable if you have white glitter in the pink section than vice versa. So I'm always going in with the lightest color first. We're gonna pull the tape and the stencils and let that sit to dry before going in with the next steps.
Once that glitter glue was dry and those stencils were pulled, I went in with another coat of Flynn Sisters Fast Setting Epoxy. I did use about another 20 milliliters of this and again went in with the Fast Set because it's a thicker viscosity than the regular setting. So this at this point has two coats of epoxy on it. I'm sanding down anywhere there are pokey bits, top, bottom rim, around the stencil areas because after this we're going to go directly in with the vinyl offset overlay on the snowflakes so we want to make sure everything is completely smooth and then i'm going to lay the pink pearlescent vinyl down in the white glitter section so it'll match pink vinyl pink glitter but a white top coat and then the opposite for the bottom use your best judgment where you have snowflakes in that center fade whatever color you think fits best there i just used my best judgment and thought pink popped more on the white so i went with pink and then at the bottom we're going to put the white snowflakes and once we've got those all applied i'm going to put this on my turner with a coat of polycrylic and let that hand dry hand dry air dry what am i trying to say <laughs> ignore me i'm clearly decaffeinated today uh and then once i let that air dry for about 30 minutes i went in with just one final coat of the artist cure resin from flynn sisters as well i am going to put a decal on this i haven't decided what i want to put on it yet so i'm just leaving it as is for now if you guys have suggestions drop them in the comments below i was thinking let it snow but i feel like that's a little cliche so i don't know i'm gonna leave it until i find something my heart really loves or if somebody wants it they can customize it however they want but this is the end result for now so i will see you guys for day eight tomorrow i hope you again had a great thanksgiving yesterday and we'll see you in the next one